50s yeah. develop on a documentary and did the allegations yeah. vows to donate proceeds wow to sexual can you call it when is this Dude, this guy's a troll this guy is a troll. no he is unstoppable wow. man will smith he's bigger than diddy i would think nick cannon is bigger than diddy Jada Pinkett and Will Smith, you told me before that you was at a party before that they attended and you said the party was weird. Tell me about that. In Hollywood, rumors can range from harmless gossip to strategically planted stories, but occasionally they can pose a real threat. 50 is the man, but, my, yeah. but 50 is, and if you're on 50's bad side, bro, God bless you, man. <laughs> and may God protect you because he is not letting that foot off your neck. Ever. Yeah, with Floyd, Ever. Ja Rule, Floyd Mayweather, <laughs> oh, he does not just... play games, bro. Also one of the most charismatic dudes oh, I've ever wow. met. No, so 50s yeah. developed on a documentary on Diddy Allegations, yeah. vows to donate proceeds Wow. sexual can you call it when is this? Dude, this guy's a troll. This guy is a troll. No, he is unstoppable, wow. man. Yo. This guy. Yeah. This guy. I remember when uh, he was doing the stuff with Mayweather. It's like, here, you know, put the uh, alphabet. I, oh, I want him to if read you a book. Read one, yeah. one page from a Harry Potter book. Yeah. He was like, I'll donate a hundred, five hundred thousand. <laughs> and they these were, are both New they Yorkers. They were best friends, though. They were best friends, too. Like, what was really the falling close. out? Like, Ah, that's his business, man. I, I, I'll let him explain that to you. But like, they were, they were, they were really close. So that's, I think. A Is it a public thing. story or no? On I don't know exactly. I don't know. I know. I know he talked to me about something, but I, I let him share his business. Guys, yeah. To me, there's, there's a, there's a part about Fifty that gives me a man's man vibe, bro. He is. You know, that's the vibe I get from him. And even the, the way he edifies Eminem. You just gotta love the way he edifies them enough. You know, Yo, the, the, just a lot of respect. A yeah. loyal dude who really understands people from a young age, from a very young age, understood social dynamics. Like he told me, he's like, yeah, when I was like 12 or 13, I was raised by like old heads and I was just observing them. You don't get to talk a lot when you're with the old dudes. Mm. You're just kind of watching mm. the power dynamics, watch how things, how things work. Man, he told me some crazy story. I don't know if I want. 50 Cent's social media feed has always been captivating. He understands the art of insinuation, and when he seeks attention, he knows exactly how to capture it. But this time, it wasn't just a cryptic post or a fleeting feud. He alluded to something potentially explosive, a video that could send shockwaves through Hollywood's elite. At the heart of it were two of the industry's biggest names, Will Smith and Diddy. Say the other male is an A-list celebrity. I I I would wonder if he's white or black, and I, if I'm looking at any black guys that are A-listers, that's bigger than Diddy. Is only one that I could come up with, and uh, oh, there's a few I could come up with. Will Smith. He's bigger than Diddy. I would think Nick Cannon is bigger than Diddy. Who else on the black that are black actors or black in the in the business that's an A-lister that's bigger than Diddy that's black? That's hard to think. But then if you got the A-listers, you know, you gotta realize he ran with that black, that 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 uh that rat pack. And I don't want to even say their names, but they said I got their names wrong last time. <laughs> What's his name? Kushner? Kushner? Uh, 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 what's the, uh, what's the, the other guy? Uh, Leonardo? Uh, yeah, his name. <laughs> Man, I don't keep up with these cats. But I I heard that it's not, that's not only the, 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 uh, tape that's being shot. There's some other tapes out there, other people too with him. And him doing some things with some other people. So there's quite a few tapes that might be out there what they're hearing. And I don't want to see the tapes, but I want to know if they really true. Because if they got they if, if, if they got some tapes out there and it's with some underage whether it's celebrities or not, it's gonna be crazy, bro. It's gonna be real crazy. And they're gonna have to bring that to forefront.
because the prosecutor is going to want those tapes and they're going to do whatever they have to do legally to get those tapes. No ifs, ands, and buts about it. So we just better hope on, for his sake, that that's just a bunch of bull crap. But then there's lawyers out there saying, yeah, the tape does exist. I don't, I don't really, I don't, I don't really know or trust that because they was trying to say he had a tape with one of the bodyguards and this, this lady that came out. So we don't know what to think until we actually see that and we get those, we get that version. You remember we had that bootleg version of, of R. Kelly tape? Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> they don't even bootleg. Yo, they don't even bootleg no more, man. So it's going to be hard to figure it out if it does exist. Do you believe the guy in the tape is white? The release of this footage could spark a whirlwind of questions and speculation. If fans get a hold of this shocking evidence, they'll be left wondering just how deep will Smith's ties to Diddy really run? Is his presence at these controversial events merely coincidental, or is there more to the story, especially with whispers of corruption, questionable behavior, and hidden motives swirling around? We're here to investigate every detail and piece together the puzzle. The stakes for Will's career have never been higher. Man, Von Zip in like 89. Tell me about that. You meeting him for the first time. Oh, uh, we would all uh, played, uh, we had played our different neighborhood in baseball, and he came up there, and he was a pitcher. And we got to call him Doc Holliday, uh, Doc Gooden, rather, for the uh, for the Mets. He was, throwing, he was a pitcher and shit. So we just we kicked it off after that. And the relationship between you and Von Zilt was a connection, right? Something like that. Right, you was like his connection when he came to L.A.? I wasn't just the only one. He, yeah, you know, I mean, but you were one of them, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. tell me about that. I mean, you know. I'd rather not go into that part, you know what I'm saying? Well, I, I mean, like, you know, it's a known fact, but I mean, you know, it's not, you know, you was just his connection when he came to L.A. I mean. Oh, he used to bring his, his partners from New York, all those people that he had. And I used to hit, hook him up, yeah. Yeah. Some of, uh, some of them used to buy like 50 keys, 20 gallons of PCP. Yeah. Like, like once a month. So how did that come about? I mean, you know, him and you starting to have a relationship, you know, where you was supplying him with, you know, or whatever. No, it, it came from that baseball game. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's what's up. Yeah. Um, you met Von Zip before Puffy. So, um, how did you first meet Puffy? Tell me about that. Uh, he could... They call looking for some lowriders. But Usher, uh, Usher first video, it was, can I get with you? Right, right. Yeah, he was in a little Laker uniform in the little classroom and shit. And I went up there, uh, I, we had the car towed up there with one of our tow trucks. And uh, we got out, a little Usher seen that car, he was like, Mama, I want that car, I want to buy it. Like, man, little man, this is priceless right here. Can't buy this car right here, you know. And I ain't starving for no money, so you, know, you can't buy this. Then uh, I met the dude that day from that video shoot. But matter of fact, I seen him way before then, though. On that uh, Will Smith, Jada Pickett gave a party. Tell me about that. It was, uh, it was that Set It All party. Right. They did that movie, they gave a little Set It All party. And he was there. He was with Tupac, matter of fact, at that little party. Oh, for real? Yeah. Was, so tell me was. about that party, man. Tell me about him being with Tupac. And also tell me about, I remember you made a comment saying that that party was a little wild, man. Yeah. Like I, Will Smith and Jada was into some, you know, wild stuff or something like that? I, <laughs> shit, that, that, that shit weird. That just was a weird party. Why you say that? Why the party was weird? Will Smith and Diddy have been connected for years with a history that dates back to the late 90s. Both made their marks on the music scene around the same time. Diddy debuted in 1996, followed by Will in 1997. 
Over the years, they've attended numerous events together, mingling with Hollywood's elite. However, while these appearances might seem casual, fans are starting to wonder if they conceal a darker, hidden agenda. See each other? No, like, I saw him. Yeah, we sat right in first class. Like, he sat on the other side, of, like, like, by the window. So somebody's sitting at, at the actual edge of it. See, and then I just, I sat down and I kept getting up and moving around and things. He, Seeing if anything would happen. Just, no, I just making him uncomfortable because I knew that he was by himself. It was like him and another guy. <laughs> <laughs> You're horrible. He's, he's, a, he's a piece of stool. You're a bully. Yeah. <laughs> how you get a bully? How you get a bully? I'm the victim. You're the victim? Oh, I've, heard, I've heard this before. Yeah, I've been victimized oh, so really? many times. You know what? Nobody hears, all they hear is the shot. They don't see the person get slapped. Mm. Before mm. it gets to that point, they see the wow. big, the, the, yeah. the big response. They don't see what actually caused all of the things that yeah. happened. You know what I mean? So it's really, and and Josh, because he wasn't involved with nothing. It's just, it just was him taking credit. You are equal opportunity destroyer. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, you will go. Uh, do you go after any kids? Because I know you go after men, women. <laughs> it doesn't matter what nationality, <laughs> what religion. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like, I try not to. Do you me. go into every battle knowing? That you like, there's no fear. Well, yeah, you gotta look. Fear is optional. It's always, but danger's real. Mm. You know, so you gotta look. You gotta know who you're talking to. You but talking you talk to everybody, and I don't think that you go and say, "Oh, I'm not saying nothing about this person because this person yeah. is a beast." You know what happened? What I was doing was, I I don't like to start. The thing. I can always. You tell said you, this before, bro. Yeah. yeah. I would, I can always show so you. So everyone where, pick on you. They did. Right. Oh, they did something to agitate. <laughs> right. Like, like, you look. What did Madonna do? Madonna, I, I just looked. I said the first time, I said, look, you got to adjust. What's going on? You can't be like a virgin at 63. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Second, that's it. This is Interview. Fast forward to today. And new evidence reportedly shows Will Smith attending one of Diddy's controversial freak-off parties. These events have long been surrounded by rumors with attendees describing wild hedonism and moral ambiguity. An iconic photo from a 2004 Miami party captures a woman posing as a food display centerpiece while Diddy dips a chocolate-covered strawberry. Celebrities like Bruce Willis, Diana Ross, and even Will Smith allegedly looked on, raising red flags about Hollywood's silent complicity in exploitative behavior. As this news spreads, Fans can't help but question why a seemingly wholesome actor like Will would choose to attend such gatherings. You told me before that she was at a party before that they attended and you said the party was weird. Tell me about that. Okay, uh, this is Boxer. His name's Twine, he's from our neighborhood. He, he was married to uh, Tanisha Arnold. Judge Brawl played Pam on uh, Martin Lawrence. We went to the party with her, I mean, it was a, a matter of fact, it was a set it off party. Jada Pickett, Biblical Frost, all of them was there. You know what I'm saying? It was just, uh, seemed like Puff and Tupac it was like a couple, seemed like to me. Uh, it was just a lot of weird going on, you know what I'm saying? The vibes ain't there. I guess that, that's what Tupac was talking about, the Illuminati. Is. It's like Vivica Fox was with this big gay man. He was 6'9". They called him, his name 6'9". He had the red hair with big old booty and shit. No, he was gay and I'm like, what the f going on here? It's just a lot of, a lot of weird dude. You know what I'm saying? That shit, it ain't right. You know what I'm saying? I guess that's what Tupac, I guess he wanted to get up out of the Illuminati or something. But I, I seen it at a matter of fact, MC Light pulled off with Tanisha Arnold. You know what I'm saying? In her brand new 560, black one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's weird, dude. Yeah, that's some weird ass going on, you know? Yeah. And what was Tupac doing at the party, yo? Him and Puff was there together. They was there, you know what I'm saying? That's why I don't know how they f fell out or nothing like that. They was road dogs, you know what I'm saying? They ain't even got pictures of them. He got on that, uh, uh, that blue sweater with the turtleneck, him and him hugged up like this with the black hat. Have you ever seen that picture? No, nah, I don't recall, but I'm pretty sure I came across it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That picture there, that they was at that party that day. Yeah, it's just like a bunch of weird, that whole 
Yeah, that shit weird, dude. Yeah, bunch of uh, it ain't right. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm not no gay bash or nothing. I mean, none of that. That shit ain't right. You know what I'm saying? That shit. That whole party was weird old out. Yeah, and it was Jada Pickett. But you saying that? You saying the whole party was weird? What did you see at the party that made it weird? I mean, I'm confused. I guess it was the Illuminati. It's just weird. I know I wouldn't want to be part of no like that. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm from the old school, dude, and uh, that shit wasn't really tolerated with my generation. You know what I'm saying? The internet is buzzing with theories about Will's attendance at these events. Was it simply a matter of business networking or something much more sinister? Some fans speculate that these gatherings could be a way for Diddy to indoctrinate celebrities or test their loyalty. One theory even suggests that Diddy may possess damaging footage that he uses as leverage, ensuring silence or cooperation from those in his inner circle. So it's all a possibility. Do you think there's any celebrities on those tapes? Bro, he gave, he gave celebrity parties. So what you think? You know, I think they're not telling the whole truth is that because of the situation in Miami and the situation in California, and they closed the clubs like 2 a.m., 3 a.m. or something like that, that Justin and uh, um, Christian was bringing big vans of girls and people back to the mansion and giving parties and stuff like that. And a lot of those stuff were their parties. A lot of that shit was their parties. They wasn't always puff parties. It was his son's parties. Good point. They said some of these freakouts will last for days. That's where they're going to get him on the sex trap thing. Especially like if he was traveling and doing it. That's where the sex trap come at. That you hiring sex workers to come and have sex with your girl. That's crazy. That's some Hollywood shit. That I don't, man, I don't even know, bro. That's crazy. Yeah, that is crazy. But they also claiming that, you know, Diddy, he'll give it to his victims to keep them obedient. Then they have to bring those witnesses in there. That's gonna be something hard to prove. Unless Lil Rob or Lil Ca or Cassie state that was something that happened. That's how the prosecutor's gonna prove that. They got a ton of evidence that they got to try to prove, bro. A lot of that sh that you, if you read it, it could be circumstantial, you know what I'm saying? But they got to have witness to back it up. You just can't say that that happened based on somebody lawsuit and what the words that they're saying. They have to have witnesses in there. And I think Puff um, lawyers is going to be smart enough to attack that. Right, right. And they claiming that Diddy, you know, he was blackmailing his victims because he had videos from old freak offs and he was using those videos to get his victims to do another freak off. So if he was blackmailing people, especially people that work for him. See, this is what it's going to get him at. See, people think that, yo, oh, those people work for him or those people are uh, uh, if they were if they was artists and they worked for them, or they, they were engineers, or they, anybody that worked for them and stuff like that, your boss cannot blackmail you to do nothing. If you do a sexual act or you doing anything, your boss, if he have you doing those things like that, then he could be liable for suit because you're not doing it willingly because that individual is your boss. So psychologically, you know what I'm saying? I don't care what nobody say, that when somebody has something over you, could determine your job, your career, your livelihood, that's somewhat of a blackmail if they holding stuff that they've done, that you've done in the past over your head to make you continually doing that stuff. Now, that's where he loses that. 
because some of those people worked for him or so he was a he was a he was a part of doing something they was part of doing something for their career with him that's why he lose that's why he loses that case this isn't just an isolated theory was behavior during the infamous Oscars slap incident where he hit Chris Rock over a joke about Jada Pinkett Smith has also been linked to Diddy. Remember, Diddy publicly downplayed the incident and even offered to help resolve it like family. But was this truly a gesture of support or a calculated move to keep Will indebted to him? That this year was gonna be the most exciting Oscars ever. Okay, Will and Chris, we're gonna solve that like family at the gold party, okay? But right now we're moving on with love. Everybody make some noise. Queen D. It's a blueprint, and I followed it my whole career. It's very simple. There's three things you do. just do. These three things. Pay your taxes. <laughs> mind your business. And keep Will Smith's wife's name out your <laughs> mouth. The implications run deep. Former bodyguard Jin Deal claims that Diddy once felt threatened by Will and Jada's interactions with his then-girlfriend, Jennifer Lopez, going so far as to demand security nearby in case things escalated. Could it be that Will and Diddy's relationship has always been underpinned by moments like these? Or worse, is it possible that Will has been coerced into silence, fearing the consequences of cross- to fight Will Smith over Jennifer Lopez. Oh man. Um We were at a birthday party that I think either Matt Damien was given for Ben Affleck. It was just a little gathering. It was at the Four Seasons. Will Smith and his sister and her husband, we were all sitting on this side of the room. Matt Damien, uh, Ben Affleck, Jennifer Lopez, Puff, Will Smith, and uh, Jada, and they were sitting on the other side of the room. So I know Puff so well that he stood up. When he stood up, he walked and like, and did his own some, some kind of way like, and then he went like this, you know, like and I went over towards him. I know to go over there towards him. So I go over towards him. And he said to me, he said, yo, I think Will and Jada is trying to scoop up Jennifer. I want you to stay close, because I'm a snuff him. <laughs> I said to myself, Will Smith gonna beat the shit out of you. <laughs> now, Puff, 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 Puff could scrap now, but I don't think he could beat Will Smith. You know what I'm saying? But well, he could scrap. You know what I'm saying? So then, 